Jay's here. How are you? How was your Thanksgiving? Do you need a diet? No, you are beautiful as you are. Okay, don't diet. According to Triple A's, there were 54.6 million travelers in the United States during this Thanksgiving season. Wow! Imagine that entire Koreans in Korea are traveling. Yeah, that's the number. I was told more than 1 million people made the trip in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. area alone. Wherever you are, whatever you did, I hope you had a wonderful time with your family members. As I said last week, have you had time to count how many blessings you have received? Here, Ashley Osbury is a teacher at the Cookson Hills School in Oklahoma. While teaching middle school students, she asks the students, what are you thankful for? The kids' answers are totally, totally unexpected. 11 years old Makila wrote, Psalm 136 verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord because He is good. I am thankful for God made the earth, heaven, and us. 12 years old, Nicholas wrote, I am thankful for Cookson Hills because they gave me every supply and meal that I need and help us through counseling. 11 years old, Emily wrote, I am especially thankful for family because they care for you and give you shelter, food and water, and buy clothes. They make sure you do good things and they love you. And they cute. But here, one more essay. This essay was written by 13 years old Annabelle, class 2022. How often do we actually take the time to be thankful? As we draw near to Thanksgiving, I wanted to highlight a few of the many different things to be thankful for. I am very grateful for time, education, and the Bible. I think time is worthy things to be thankful for. It has various uses and is very helpful. Time is a very important system to measure all of those things. I would also like to recognize education, considering the fact that we learn so much in just a day. I know that almost everything in my future will involve education. Finally, I am thankful for the Bible. The Bible provides the blueprints for how to be a good Christian. There's so much wisdom and knowledge to be found in the Bible. God provides so much for us to be thankful for. I hope that as Thanksgiving falls upon us, that our attention would not be focused on the food or the pumpkins, but on what we want to thank God for. What are the things you are thankful for. Wow, isn't it awesome? She's only 13 years old. Wonderful essay. What can you be thankful for? Being able to find the elements of gratitude is so important. Why? Because we can be grateful and we can overcome any hardship in the difficult situation. Let's read today's scripture verse, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Today's text is we all know. Philippians is known as the epistle of joy. We can feel abundant joy throughout the book of Philippians. Paul encouraged Philippians to continue to live a life of gratitude and joy. Remember that he was in prison. Let's look at that, what he's saying. The Apostle Paul encourages the Philippians, present your request with thanksgiving. Look at verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition. With thanksgiving, present your request to God. Praying without worrying about anything? Is it possible? It is hard for everyone. Because we worry and we pray. We are anxious and we pray, right? It could be our motivation to pray. But Paul says differently. We have to present our request with thanksgiving first. We can let go of our worries and frustration through gratitude. In fact, we pray and we worry, right? I hope you are not. There are three types of thanks. Thanks if, thanks because, thanks nevertheless. The first 
If thanks means, if God answered to my prayer, I will give my thanks. If God grant to my wish, I give my glory to God. And I will give offering. This is not true thanksgiving. It is a conditional thanks. It is the most basic and elementary thanks. Second, because thanks, which means that thanks because my prayer has answered. Thanks because I got accepted to Ivy School. Thanks because I got always. It is more like a give and take contractual thanks. I got this, now I give you back. Although this thanksgiving is far better than if thanks, but it's not enough. Here's the third thanks, nevertheless thanks. Statistically, only 10% of church members pray like this. This is true thanks that can overcome any situation in any hardships, whether good or bad, healthy or sickness, poor or rich. Giving thanks in the midst of tribulation and suffering is a true Christian thanksgiving. Why? We are still alive, no matter what. We are still here, right? Even though I die, I have eternal life and heaven. That is why I can be thankful. My favorite phrase is, if I die, I die. Then I live. Let me introduce one painting. The Angelus, painted by Jean-Francois Millet. Now it has become one of the most expensive paintings of an unknown amount. But Miller was very poor when he actually painted this painting. Recently, the Rubel Museum discovered the potato basket in the painting was first painted as a coffin containing a child. And later, we painted it as a potato basket. In spite of such an environment, the Angelus expressed the couple's prayer to God in such a lyrical and beautiful picture, brings calm and peace to people around the world even as the year passed. When you give thanks despite pain, adversities, conditions, then you will experience true peace of God. That is why Paul says in verse 7, God will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Let's look at chapter 4, verse 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Here, let me show you another picture. This is a real photo of an old man praying for a piece of bread and a bowl of soup. This is a real person. His name is Charles Wilden. The photographer was Minnesota photographer Eric Enstrom. When he saw this man first, he thought, this man doesn't have much of earthly goods, but he has more than most of people because he has a thankful heart. It was originally black and white uh, picture. Later, Eric's daughter painted over the photo. This photo title is Grace. It seems wearing a thick coat at home also doesn't seem warm at home. A bowl of soup and a piece of bread seems he must not financially sufficient. Eating alone seems so lonely, but he chose to be grateful. It is no coincidence that the word grace and gratitude are used interchangeably. It's because when you experience God's grace, you become thankful for any situation. Those who know the grace of God are those who have received Jesus as their Lord. Those who accept Jesus are those who can be thankful and experience the peace of God. Yes, we can experience that God guards our heart and mind. Are you still concerned? Are you still worried? Then give thanks to God first. Count how many things you have to be grateful for one by one. Here, let's watch this video.
That's right. We've been given so many grateful conditions. Even this moment is so precious time. Put down all your worries and fears and experience God. If so, you and I able to give thanks to God nevertheless. Not if thanks, not because thanks, nevertheless thanks. Then the peace of God will guard your heart and mind in Christ. May the peace of God be upon us who are thankful all the time. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, once again, we realize that we have so many things to be thankful for. 86,400 opportunities. Father, we are grateful. We are thankful. Let us have a courage to share the blessing we have received too with one another. Now I'm asking your abundant blessing in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit to every one of us here, as well as our family, our churches and our countries, all the medical staff taking care of the patients, all the missionaries and ministers spreading your word throughout the world, all the American soldiers fighting for peace and freedom throughout the countries, bring them home safely. Amen.